Hello guys, today we have a quick video about the calibration of Young King controller YKZ 120V 80A. I have this controller on my Chinese scooter. The scooter from factory operates with 6 lead acid batteries at 72V 20A with sine wave controller at 45A maximum output. The hub motor is at 3000 watts, and as you understand, I had quite a lot unused power and performance because of factory controller. So I decided to increase the performance of the scooter with this Young King Bluetooth programmable controller. The purpose of this video is how to calibrate the controller on the hub motor to have the correct speed indication. Many comments and emails which I receive from my viewers, I noticed that there are generally people confusing at this point. So I decided to make small video with 2-3 steps related to calibration to close this part. For experimental reasons, I will make a video before and after to see the error differences. In the first video I am trying without calibration. If you notice on the screen on the top of the left window of the controller speed indication, our controller shows almost twice the speed from the real GPS speed on the right window. To calibrate, the only tool we will need is a 5 meter length tape ruler. The third step is to mark a start and finish distance of 5 meters in an open space. Next step is to open the app, search for the controller via Bluetooth, then select it and press connect. Once the connection is successful, we will see the model of the controller under the speed indicator, battery voltage, temperatures, currents, in general the condition of the controller. Now to enter the calibration process we click on the option myself. After that on calibration on off button. Click off to activate it. The button turns green. Then we put the vehicle at the starting point. When we will be ready, we press the start distance. Once this is done, the question mark will change to getting. Then we roll the vehicle along the distance we have marked. And the note, we must try to move the vehicle as straight as possible to collect the correct pulses from the motor so that we have as accurate a speed indication. Once we reach the finish, we press the end distance. Once we do that, we will see the pulses we have got from the hub motor, which is 2790 pulses. This is how the controller knows that every 2790 pulses have traveled a distance of 5 meters. Last one is to press conversion ratio. Press OK and then we are ready to test our vehicle.
As you can see, the speed of the controller compared to GPS is quite accurate, with a difference only 2 km. Personally, I am quite satisfied with the result, so I will leave it as it is. So, for today we are done. I hope I helped in the issue of calibration guys. For any issue please write me in comments.